Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're enjoying your cup of coffee and this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tahutu and yes, hold your Bitcoins, don't worry, be happy. It is Sunday, normally I don't do a TA video, but because of the huge dip, and huge crash, I want to do a video just to get you in this zen state of mind a little bit, that you're not freaking out, but zooming out. Let's quickly jump in the charts, let's see where we will go with Bitcoin next, but please, it is Sunday, take your time to enjoy life. Bam. The first chart, guys. This is the four hour chart. You see at yesterday's chart, I told you ah, what kind of platter is this. Yes, I still need to do get the giveaway of the t-shirt with a lot of correct answers of the bull flag pattern. Um, not that bullish. <laughs> we should have been going that way, uh, but we didn't. We didn't go that way, guys. I'm going to do it like this because I want the arrow. So we should have been going that way, but we went the opposite way. And that is a breakdown. We don't exactly know why, but I have some charts later in this video that can explain why we probably saw um, this huge crash in Bitcoin. <coughs> these are the moments you can freak out. I agree with you guys. This is like exciting. If you see these dips of 10k candles, that's a huge candle. You know, this one here over there, that's like 60 to 50, 50k. That's a 10k candle. You don't see those things often, then you start to freak out. There is always a reason and we will find out the reason. Trading wise, of course, it's not the baddest thing because if you would have taken the short flag and um, this is the four hour chart by the way, so if we would have traded this With the bam bam indicator and um, This was the short flag over there. This was a 40 now. We are going to this one over here Yeah, it's a little bit hidden over there. The short flag was the 17 at 8 o'clock in the morning We were down below the yellow stepping line Let's see to the other end, other end of the case. There's a huge ye yellow area. And the bam bam indicator already crossed here at the 14. So it didn't go up. So this could have been a good short. If you would have followed the steps. And those steps would have led um, to going short in Bitcoin. And having this huge uh, profit. Uh, let's get rid of that. Because make it a little bit more clear. Guys, I think it's very important now that Bitcoin finds a support around this 55k level. This candle is going to close in 3 hours. You can see on the right over here in three hours this candle will close i'm hoping it will close above 55 000 us dollar if we close above this level then we kept that region of support why does this region and why is this support for all the newcomers look this green line we were fighting that green line then we broke it then we went up and we came down to that green line we went up and we came down to that green line we went up and we came down to that green line that green line was support we went up and we came down to the green line. When we broke the green line, it became resistance again. You see, till we go up and down, resistance, go up, support. That is what we call support and resistance. Now, this is an area where we could find support, but we need to close above that one. If we don't close, close above that level, we will fall to the next level of support, which would be around 50k. Still not freaking out. Because guys, if we look out and we zoom into the big picture and we would fall to 50k to this green line, we are still going up. A little bit less steep up, but we are still up. Um, let's jump into the next chart. This one. Bam. This is the TikTok chart. Did the TikTok chart see it yesterday? See it coming? And um, we have here, it's the 17 at 7 o'clock. It was going bullish. And then there at that moment when we didn't close, it went bearish at 60k and 60k we saw already yeah the dead cross the bear cross was already way earlier that was uh, the bear cross was already at 11 so at that moment you could already have taken the short as we closed down below the level stepping line the green went into red so you could have gone uh, short over there but we you know i didn't trade yesterday so there's always in hindsight you can do everything but guys let's be honest sometimes these days are not that easy to trade let's go to the next chart just to show what i think is very important today and today it is sunday you know it's nice to speak on the short term trades uh, four hour one hour but this chart today here the weekly that one is the one that i'm looking like a hawk at 
this one is very important i've been talking to you guys about this chart many weeks already and i will stay talking about this one because it's one of the most important charts this candle we see now the red one over there that one is going to close today if we will close around this level i don't think anything is happening if you close down below this yellow uh, down below this green trend line like let's say down below the 52,000 US dollar we could fall back to the yellow line the 40k level the 21 ma i would normally not freak out because i told you when the nvt this one turns from red to gray then we do these huge drops when it turned here from red to gray you can see we had this huge drop when it turned from red to gray we had this huge drop we didn't see gray for a long time if you are going to turn gray at the closing of tonight's candle for me tonight for you probably uh, during the day that means that the weekly candle is a very bearish close and that means that we can see normally some downward movement maybe to this 21 ma because the 21 ma again for a very long time is always the support and the resistance in these bull markets so it's very important to look at that one i'm now at the buy bit so if i go to the blx you can see it even more clear um, you will see it over here the thing that i find really strange today at the market we look first show you that because we need to show you this so the yellow line like you can see here this is 2017 that is a very important line keeps going back the yellow line is a very important line because you can see we use it there as support we go up we come down we test it we go up we come down we go up we come down we go up and we break the yellow line that is what we saw in 2017 now here in 2021 we go up we retest it we go up we test it and then oh and then we just went up sorry guys that was not the right <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's not, not drunk. No, we go up, we test it, we go up, we test it, and now we just go up. So there could be a moment we will test it, hopefully a little bit later, here around 50k when this yellow line is increasing. But it could also happen now. We saw it in the bull run of 2017. The strange thing that I need to show you guys now is that normally, normally, this happens, this red going into green when this stock rsi is on top look we went here from red into green the moment we were like high in the stock rsi here from red to green the moment the stock rsi was on top here from red to gray sorry the moment the stock rsi was on top here from red to gray the moment the stock rsi was on top here from red to gray <laughs> the moment the stock rsi is on top the stock RSI is not on top, not even clear near the top. We are on the bottom. I would expect, um, to be honest, to, do, to, do, to see the stock RSI there. And then when we turn from red to gray, then the drop. So then we would see, we need to see this one still, you know, performing like this, going up, going up, or whatever, no circles, but and then the drop to gray. That is something I would expect. And that is the only thing I find really strange of what I see now and what makes me believe that we still didn't see this local top. And we did not see us breaking this trend line that we have been forming since December somewhere, guys. And we found support on that line every time again. So let's see what happened. This, this, this candle that is making uh, the form of the candle here is not a positive candle. <laughs> that can I tell you as well. So the next week could be then this drop let's see we can't we don't have a glass ball we can't predict but we can uh, analyze the charts and that is what we do so we are going to look at this nvd we are going to look at the stock rsi on the weekly today um, let's give you some more perspective that you don't freak out but you're still able to zoom out even when we crash like this guys if you want to trade these charts please use our referral links at the moment i have this special offer buy bit thousand dollar bonus 
you can get to up to 15% interest a year if you stake uh, or you hold your currencies on Bybit and the traders you can compete now for 400,000 US dollar theater price pool thousand dollar bonus please use these referral links as you use these we are able to support poor people all over the world you can also use the prime x with the and you can also use the durex uh, that one down here or the binance all good with me but at the moment this bybit offer of thousand us dollar bonus is a huge offer so i would trade uh, on bybit at the moment because you can also use the trailing stop loss which would have saved you from the crash yesterday let's jump into the next chart this one um, i need to show you as well well, really important charts to make you a little bit more zoom out bam here this could be the reason um, I need to draw this could be the reason of the crash that we saw this was the reason in 2017 as well in 2017 we saw the hash rate crash BAM in hindsight, if we look back, I'm going to show you that was the best moment to buy Bitcoin. Because from that moment on, in 2017, that was the dip just before this huge bull run to 10k and even 20k. That was the crash of the hash. The crash of the hash. That was the best buying opportunity. If we now look at today, what did we see? Bam! We saw the same. We saw again, guys, just look at this. Here, bam! This crash of the hash and a little, we are bouncing back. Is this again the perfect moment to buy Bitcoin before this huge bull run? Because every time this hash rate crashes like this, because of power losses in China, whatever, because of liquidating, we don't know what it is. Maybe they all work together and the power loss is created to liquidate a lot of positions and to then finally make that last huge run. We don't know. But we see on the chart, when we look to the left, what happened in the past. And in the past, again, when we saw this flash crash of the hash, we saw the best buying opportunity of Bitcoin in that square over there. And that is how you look at the charts. We saw what happened and we saw that created the best buy opportunity. Is this happening now as well? We don't know, but we see this huge crash and we can now react to this one. We could not anticipate to this one because they are unforeseen, but when they appear, you can react. And the reaction could be a very good buying the dip over here. If we look at this chart as well, bam, we can see the same. This is the spent output profit ratio, the SOPR. This is six hour moving average. Guys, also here, the perfect buying moments from Bitcoin, you can see in these green circles, are this one, when we were down below the le one level, down below the one level, down below the one level, down below the one level and where are we now down below the one level and every time when you buy for example here down below the one level you have a run you buy down below the run level you have this run you buy down below the one level you have this run you buy down below the one level maybe you have this run again so this is also a chart that needs to you know be watched and looked at because maybe this is telling us to buy also buy the dip that is why we always say buy the dip guys that was the short video i'm not going to make it long it's sunday i'm going to do the english ama today live youtube ama i forgot to do the dutch one yesterday because i was so busy and i was finally enjoying a day with my family and i completely forgot the dutch one i did buy this really beautiful uh, bitcoin bracelet yesterday and also the necklace with it it is created from a mexican five peso coin the guy makes it with the hand and uh, really cool um, i'm going to buy some more also for the kids and uh, to give away some presents to people um i really like that people make stuff with the hand and then you know i just combine it with my bitcoin passion that was everything for today if you did like the video please give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment um, as i love to respond to your comments always remember to sometimes 
zoom out in Bitcoin, zoom in at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. You should not be freaking about every minute change in the chart, but every minute of the day you can change your life. And yes, these dips are like horrible, horrifying, 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 <laughs> but we will survive. We will go up again. Stop freaking out. Please zoom out. Enjoy your Sunday. See you tomorrow again or later today in the live AMA in English. Bam!